thing that we do, we we can learn through trial and error, or we can learn through smart other people. I I, I feel like I made all the mistakes yesterday, but just the other day, I was like, man, how many times have I heard to f- hire slow, fire fast, and just actually follow the diligent process? I'm so relationship based that sometimes if I jump into the process, I'll be like, oh, I really like this person. I don't even want to meet another one. Like, then I I, I like them. I want to see more of them, and I make the wrong hire. And then I'm like having to deal with it with yeah. redoing it. And that you think you're saving time, but you're not. I'm using that as an example of Warren Buffett says that the best investment, the investment that supersedes everything, is the investment in yourself, your skill sets, your growth, th- things that would equip people. Yet there's a lot of people out there that are just so afraid. Even Grant Cardone's gone to the place with, again, Grant's maybe different than Warren. Warren's very like, Sound, I would say he's low risk, very low risk compared to like a Grant in personality, especially. And Grant says something like people say, Grant, if I'm investing in myself and I haven't seen financial breakthrough yet, would you recommend that I stop until I kind of use what I have, go through the courses? And Grant's like, no, keep investing until you make have breakthrough. And I can see both perspectives because I'm just like, it's so tough. What if the day never comes? There's people out there that maybe are in a a tough financial spot. They've been in it for a long time. They can't get their way out of it. They're running a business and they can't get above. And if they just got the education and did it, they would help them. But it's in a scary place where they'd maybe have to take on that debt. Would that fall into good debt specifically if they were investing in their skill sets to build the business, the knowledge base, the network, things like that? Would it fall into that category? Or is that kind of a scary investment? Because you would take on debt if it was a let's say it was a bulletproof deal, a great deal. So someone may be advised to take on debt to do that. Would, would they take on debt for education? Yeah, that's tricky. Um, I mean, I think that's going to be, you know, a individually specific. Why is it so hard for this though and not college? Well, it that, that that's exactly what I was thinking of. It's like when when I went to college, I didn't have the money. Yeah. And then you I take figured out debt. how to make the money. Well, um, and you you figured you're just smart in general. You're figuring out how to make the money. You literally went to learn how to invest right after college. But for the ma- mass majority of people that don't have a wealthy family, they would take on debt to go to college because it's socially accepted by everyone. Correct. But if there was a $10,000 grow your mechanic business, Here's all the SOPs. Here's our email sequences. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna work you through this and help develop you into the mechanic company owner that you that's required to understand how that you're not afraid to pay your employees. We're gonna show you the path that we've been on. People would think like, oh no, no, grow the mechanic business first. And when you have ten thousand extra dollars laying around that you could literally shove down the gutter, then in, then you can invest in. But what if that day never comes? Yeah, and I think and that it, that was me. It's a certain person that you know that they're going to actually take action. So there are people that would spend that money and never do anything with it. And, yep. and in that instance, I don't think that's a good investment. If you are the type of person and you know that you're good at following through, you hold yourself accountable, or you're good at enlisting others to hold you accountable, um, then I think it's a great investment, right? So mm-hmm. it, to me, it's kind of like based a little bit more on on the action and maybe more on personality type. Like do what what's your track record and history in the past? Yep. Um, and, and I think for a lot of people, for a lot of entrepreneurs, it would probably be a good move. I mean, I, I love, I mean, I've invested so much in myself. I mean, at this point, it's literally millions of dollars wow. in education, courses, coaches, you name it. And, um, and, and just even in, in surroundings, like, you know, what groups can I join to have exposure to other people that are playing the game of business and life at a higher level than me that I can start thinking more like them? Like, I, I just want to be around them so I can know how I should be thinking yep. and I can emulate that mindset because where I grew up, we didn't have that. I, there weren't business owners around me for most of my life. Um, I ended up uh, uh, really befriending um, this guy, Dustin, uh, early on and his dad owned a software company. So that was like the first businessman I ever knew. Yep. And that was like my first real instance of like, oh, wow, this is cool. I never even thought that maybe I could do it. I always just thought maybe I was going to work for someone, but he kind of has his own business and he, you know, his son helps him out a little bit. That's cool. And then I was like, well, 
like I, I see where his office is and like, I feel like maybe I could do something like that. Maybe I could even learn from him. So it was like the, just even right there, my mindset started to shift. And it's funny, if you go back to my uh, yearbooks, uh, I was doing this when we were moving the last time we moved and uh, we, you know, you'd sign a little message. I don't know if you guys did this at, yeah, at your school, you yeah. sign a little message, but my big thing was like that I was going to be an entrepreneur or I, I called it a businessman. I don't think the word entrepreneur was, Not was big then. So yeah. I said, I'm going to own my own business. I'm going to be a businessman. So, you know, going way back then that already, you know, impacted yeah. it. And it, and my focus was on that. 